As you'll see from the role play, 92% of patients don't use their inhaled medicines correctly. By carrying out this simple intervention, you really can make a difference to people's lives. When we did this work through Community Pharmacy on the Isle of Wight, we actually managed to achieve a 50% reduction in our hospital asthma admission rates. When they used this review in Portsmouth as part of the Healthy Living Pharmacy project, what they found was that patients who received this training improved their asthma control test scores by around three. That means that more people had their asthma under control. Right then, Mr Noble. Thanks for just taking the time. Hopefully it won't be too long. I've got an inhaler here. It's the same as yours, but filled with sugar. And you can see that when you press the actuator, what comes out is traveling at between 80 and 100 miles an hour. So instead of going round the corner of your throat and down into your lungs, what it's actually doing is impacting on the back of your throat. Right, okay. You say, and I've got poor inhaler technique. I wonder how much of this stuff's actually getting into my lungs. With poor inhaler technique, around 5% of the drug ends up in the lungs where it's needed. With good inhaler technique, as much as 20% of the drug will reach the lungs where it's needed. That's four times more than with poor technique. This device here mimics an inhaler. Perhaps you could use that, treat it as if it was your inhaler, and just show me how you would normally breathe in when you press the button on your inhaler. Thank you very much, let's have a look at that. And you can see on there, you've scored 110 litres per minute. The problem is that having had this discussion and hopefully you've understood that you need to slow down when you breathe in, it's just natural that as time goes on, you'll actually speed up again. So I've got something here to help you. This is called a two-tone inhaler teaching device. Again, treat it like an inhaler and just take that sharp intake of breath that you were doing before. What, how I was before you showed exactly me? Exactly how you were before. Okay. Oh, sounds awful. That's right, very discordant. Now, this time, take a long, slow breath. Oh, right. And did you hear that? Just a single Just one sound. note. Since using a two-tone device, it's, um, it's enabled me to administer my inhalers correctly. Um, and so, yes, it's, uh, it's helped my condition very much. I enjoy cycling a lot and um, I did struggle sometimes with, this, with my cycling. Uh, but since using the uh, two-tone inhaler, um, it's helped me control my administration of my inhalers properly. And so it, when I do go out riding, it's, it's so much easier now. 